Okay, we're back in uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Let's go. Wait, I forgot how to play this game. This town is positively brimming with life. Why, I do believe that the Catlin Chronicle describes this very place. It's a perfect location to bring the legendary city of Catlin back to life. Aha! My mention of the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? <laughs> what are my voiceovers? The Cantilene Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence. I assure you, we were destined to build this magnificent town together. I said some of those words kind of wrong. Okay, you gotta talk to him again. I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims, but was it truly you who constructed these buildings? Uh, constructed b one of them. If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things, a gift that mankind lost so long ago. Could it be that you are the builder of whom Catalan Chronicle speaks? This legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Bah, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. I nearly forgot. The path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Ah, uh, not really. Well, the Catlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid those mountains. Yeah, I, I know. The wing of the wyvern. A most convenient contrivance that lets you travel at blinding speed and be back to your base in the bleak of night. Of course, if you were truly the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. You will need only lay your hands upon a new mon material monument to discern what items can be built from it. The chimeras you seek dwell at the foot of the mountains fast by this place. Use your compass to find them, that you might not lose your way. But literally, if you just look at this, a return to base, it's literally in the menu. Does that work? Oh, you will lose some of your items. That's kind of dumb. I mean, it makes sense, or else the wing of the wire would be literally useless. Bop. You drakeys, I'm gonna die. So bad. I'm not good at this kind of game, dude. We're just playing like 1988 Dragon Quest 3 <laughs> NES. Oh, that's the wrong way. Ah. Yeah, I think I. How many do I need? This isn't even the way I found the dude. Maybe it is. Uh, no, that doesn't make any sense. I wanna swim. I haven't done it before. Oh, I can get this. Nice, you tree stump. Oh heck, that doesn't work. <laughs> that don't work at all. Oh no. How do I heal myself? I need to heal. I don't have any way to heal myself. 
Oh gosh, I gotta go. I don't wanna die. If I get hit once by any slimes, I think I die. And I'm assuming, I don't even know what happens when you die. Do you game over or do you just like, uh, go back to your base or something? But I don't want to find out. I don't like doors. They're boring. Take a nap. Uh, definitely real estate yawn sound effect right there. We return to the land. I need to eat something. What do I have? Can I? I don't. I don't have any food. Oh wait, no, it's food. My weapon is about to break. Luckily, I have this wood stump, so I can make another one. the chimera. Looks like a wyvern. <clears throat> What's this pillar? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. There we go. That's better. I need to stop being horrible at this game. <laughs> it seems like you take fall damage after less blocks than you would expect. Do you know if I could just hold the dirt block like this? I'm surprised I haven't gotten any other blocks other than earth. Wait, I need to make it. How do you know what might be made of this? You know, a chimera is dangerous foe, and you may be beyond your current strength. You do well to arms. I already beat all of them. Come to quest maker shows where these monsters roam. Find them, defeat them, and use their feathers to build that which this man desires. Okay. So I just gotta jump in here. Build the chimera wing. The chimera okay. This is chimera wing. It is just as the Catlin Chronicle describes. Then there is no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long lost power of construction. You really are the builder. The builder. That's so bad. Ever since the light was lost to us and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Alephgard have waited for this day to come. The day that Rubus would send the Builder to save us. You needed only to touch a Chimera's feather to know what you could build from it. Seek out more materials and speak to those around you, and your knowledge is sure to expand even further. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings. If you should see anything that you've never seen before, be sure to collect it. Yeah, as you, as you would. And you and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Cantlin. And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy has brought the town to ruin. This place was once girdled all about by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that a great golem once watched over the city, keeping all inside safe from harm. Yeah, I remember that, though. First Dragon Quest game, the golem guard this place, and you had to use the fairy flute. Well, you didn't have to, but if you were low on level, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated. Nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? 
As a proud son of Catelyn, I pledge to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt that with your powers in my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Why is this guy so creepy? I have a feeling he is the Dragon Lord. Not really popular. Okay. Okay, let's talk to her. You know, I've been starving lately. I could eat my own head. Oh, whoa, that's not possible. All of this building and inventing is hungry work. <laughs> so I've been thinking, if we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you can you could build to cook things on? If you think of anything, put it in a room with a chest so that sort of the delicious dishes we make. So yeah, make us a room to cook in. Make me a kitchen. I'm going to make a cook fire. A room must have two block high wall uh, doors. Yeah, I, I know. Didn't it show that to me? Wait, is there anything in here? Got earth blocks. Okay. Wait, I should probably get those. I love how I'm just building everything out of earth. Okay, where should I build this? Room? I need to build it like here. I know that. Build it over here. My cypress stick. I love how long your weapons last. Like durability is good if it if they last a decent amount of time. But these things last like a bit too long. It's like insane. Unless the first one just lasts longer than. the buildings that just don't need roofs. It's so weird. We can make rugged rags. I don't know if I should though. I think I already have something. Grassy leaves. Why do grassy leaves seem like hard to find? They're not actually hard to find. They're actually really easy to find. <laughs> Never mind. Door. Build. I like how uh, if you're building something, it access the items in your chest too, so you don't have to go get it always. Why? Why is she walking on the house? Dang it, that's not the right button. Hi, how's that kitchen coming along? You don't have to build a new room for it. You can just fix it one of the already broken rooms that are already here. Yep, we did that. If we're going to be complete, must have walls, two boxes, and a source of light in the door. Transform room to kitchen, simply build a cook fire on a chest with walls. But beware that the chamber you choose is not overly large. For too roomy is a room. For too roomy a room is no room at all. <laughs> what? Need to make you a cook fire. Leaves. I always need more leaves. I'm just gonna get a bunch of leaves actually. For, for later. Because. 
every a chest too empty is no chest at all. I don't know what that was. And technically, if a room is too big, it just becomes a, a planet. Uh, gnarly. Biosphere. Yeah, if the room's too big, it just becomes a biosphere. Big brain logic. I love jumping into the crafting station. I built a cook fire. Okay. Just let me see. Just let me hold that thing. What the heck? I built an empty room. I need to get a chest. Build a crude kitchen. The primitive kitchen for the preparation of unfussy fare. Our sense will cook food and put it in the chest. I need more food. I need more food. My food meters. That kind of stuff. Wow, look at that. Blimey, you did it. You made me a place to cook. Now I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy food. What are, what are these words that they're using? And the chest is perfect to make anything really, really tasty. I'll put in there so you can try a bit too. Got some plum berries. No, I gotta talk to Mr. Rollo or whatever his name is. Well, well, well. It seems we have a kitchen now. This creative power of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally ex exemplary. What do you say to test them out to make me something to eat? Wait, do I get to like cook something? What? Make it yourself? You'll build a whole kitchen for Pippa, but you won't even m make me a single measly meal? You wound me. I thought we were friends. Well, I think you're the Dragon Lord, so. By the way, I should mention that I saw some delicious looking orange mushrooms growing down by the water's edge. I'm sure you can make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. Do you have an agreement, friend? I already have like 12 mushrooms. Eight. And a bunch in the chest. Shrooms, I'll say 20. Okay. Okay. Three servings of shrooms on a stick. He just runs over here. Do I detect the succulent scent of freshly roasted mushrooms? Or the fragrance alone is a mellow medley, melody of mouth-watering flavors. By my growling gizzard, these shall make a magnificent meal. Come now, hand them over. Quick, quick, quick. Mmm, mmm. Marvelous work. We shall have to rename you the cooker. Wah -ha. What is this dude? He's so dumb. The Continent Chronicle covers a wide range of topics. The chapters concerning the preparation of hearty, healthy meals are particular. Pardon? You want to see it yourself? The Continent Chronicle with your own two eyes? I'm sorry, but that book is a priceless family heirloom. You can't just go parading it around in front of everyone that asks. And besides, the tome is written in ancient and cryptic script. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fake. There's no way that you or anyone else would be able to read it. What little knowledge I myself have gleaned from it has taken years of painstaking study. However, I have not a single doubt that this book holds the key to restoring the city to its former greatness. I shall not rest until I have deciphered each and every one of its secrets. But fear not, my friend, I will not keep these secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough in my studies, you will be the first to know. 
And as for these mushrooms, it is only fair that you taste the fruits of your labors too. Take this as a token of our everlasting friendship. I'm kind of scared of this dude. What? Have I finished reading that book yet? It's been like two seconds. Learn some patience, young man. I made it quite clear that you would be the first to know of any secrets I uncover. Deciphering the Catlin Chronicle will take time, and our work on restoring this city has only just begun. I suggest that while I continue my studies, you labor to rebuild the city to its former greatness and prove yourself the builder you claim to be. By completing rooms and placing within them the items you create, you can increase the level of your base. But be wary that you do not place your decorations more than two blocks above the floor, for such items will not count toward your points total. Now go, my child, fill your town with buildings, and those buildings with furnishings, and see your new home flourish. Pay attention! Now, could, can you think of anything we could use to decorate all these new rooms you're about to build? Uh, a flag. Cantlin flag. I learned how to make a pot. Why am I using the weird accent still? A pot. Decorate the rooms in your base with furniture and other items that points to your base meter. Fill in your rooms with decorative items and take your base to a whole new level. So what do I do? <laughs> gotta build. Okay. Oh wait, no, I gotta add the pots to the existing room. Good build, good build. Okay, pot. That's just earth and goo. So I place this here. Will it give me more experience? 50 points. Not bad. I'm gonna go do what the game told me not to. I'm gonna go explore somewhere in the middle of the night. Cause there's nothing more fun than ignoring the game's advice, right? Okay, I got 50 more points. Put one in the kitchen too. But like half the enemies are sleeping. Man, dude, I like this music. Isn't this like the final boss thing of the original games? Or maybe I'm just dumb. thought it was. Actually, no, it's a cave theme. I'm down. Dude, I climbed up the mountain. Parkour. Okay. <clears throat> what are we doing? I should build a tower. I'm gonna build a tower up here, dude. gamer skills. Ah, 
Why am I doing this? I do not need to do this. Why does nighttime go by so much faster than daytime? It's so weird. Like daytime is like 10 times longer. One block from here, I can build this. No, I change it. I need to break down a block. I don't want to break that. I'm gonna break. so much time on this. It's not going to be a fun video if I don't stop doing this. But I can't give up. I must become one with the, the shoe. I won't give up. The fall damage is absurdly high. Big jump. Food. Okay, no, 
now I gotta go back. Can I do this? Nope. I can't. That's my first time dying. <laughs> I don't know how dying works. Gotta go back and get my stuff. How oh, can I not get my stuff? Yeah, there's my stuff. Losing your stuff is bad, but as long as you can get back, that's fine. Just the water to, to save me. But I guess it was too shallow. Should I eat this? How much? 20%. I'll eat it. I gotta eat it at some point, man. Oh, nice. Built two chests. I need food in here. Fried egg. I like my, myself some fried eggs, dude. Pretty good. Okay. What am I doing? I gotta get to level two. So do I want to build another room? Or do I just want to like, put more pots places? Thanks for my new friends coming to Lunar City. Well, it must have been really clever, man. Silly people with beards. So species. Stop with the beards. Please stop with the beards. Now that more people are moving in, we're going to need more beds for everyone to sleep on. Poor old Rolls shouldn't have to sleep on the floor. So we need beds. I'll build one in here, because why not? I'll give me some points. I need to build another one of this earth. I don't have enough earth. Wow, that's kind of sad. Of all the things that run out of earth, it's the one I can like. All the things I could run out of. Do. That's not the right thing. Build. And then I can have another one of these right here. That'll look good. I'm so close. Level two, let's go. I basically to level two. Wonderful work, I am impressed. Not only are you the legendary builder, but it seems your powers have become even greater. No matter how many monsters you defeat, you will grow no stronger. Only by the weapons you wield and the armor you wear might you you will your might as a way increase. So I don't level up, that's gonna be You are the builder, my child, and it is by building this base that your true strength will be revealed. I'm sorry to say though that I've made scant progress in deciphering the Captain Chronicle. I dare say it will be some time still before. Did you hear that? What? No. No, because I sound happy. Thought he like didn't expect me to hear that. I have made I have the most terrible tidings. Wait, dang it, I couldn't read it. I know not something. Something wait, an assault. You must protect Cutlin at all cost. You must prepare a defense against the coming assault. But fear not, I shall fight by your side, my friend. I shall my do my duty by protecting dear Pippa and our beloved home from harm. Dude. Rollo speaks the truth, my child. The vicious beasts that dwell hereabouts are heading here in droves. Oh, so I gotta do a skirmish, dude. 
The town is the seat of all Alfgar's restoration and must not be allowed to fall at the hands of the monsters. With an oaken club in hand and enough healing cream to tide you through the onslaught, you must drive back the Dragon Lord's, Dragon Lord's foul followers. Uh, not yet. I need cream. I am not ready. I am the ready. Not yet. So dumb. I know not what has driven them to it, but the monstrous plan to attack a great city and force us. That's what I said. I knew it was something like that, but I just want to read it. Yes, I'm ready. This is your first true battle, Sapphire, but fear not, for I know you will prevail. Oh, dude. That's epic. The original transition. Oh, the music, yes. What is this? This is epic. Where are they? I don't know. They invade the base. Oh my gosh. We're getting in the base. Oh no, they're in the base. Like they're big in the base. I'm gonna break all the blocks. Oh my gosh, I'm dying like heck. my shield you have like a million HP. Dude, yes I dodged. The monsters are defeated. Wait, is that it? What? Where's the... Okay. Well done, my child. You'll save Catelyn from the monsters' audacious advances. As hope wells within the townspeople's hearts, so too will your banner of hope grow blanketing the land with ever more warm and tender light. But now it seems the location of your base is known to the Dragon Lord as vile vassals. What are these words? The monsters fear that should the people of Alfgar band together, they will lose their dominion over these lands. No doubt these beasts will launch yet more offensive offensive air long in an attempt to crush this beacon of hope. You must protect this place, my child, whatever it takes, no matter what manner of brutish behemoth assails it. You do not know if you are equal to the task? Yeah, I, I am equal to the task. In fact, do you not really understand what this task I've given you is all about? You just want to build things, not fight the monsters? No, I want to fight the monsters. At this very moment, that may be, well be so. But as you come to know more of the people here, you will realize that with great power comes great responsibility. Dude, why the heck is Rubus quoting Spider-Man? What? I have done all I can for this benighted land. The rest is up to you, my child. Work together with your new friends and restore the city of Cantlin to its former greatness. I must leave you now, but I know that we shall meet again when your work here is done. Until then, know that I do watch over you always. I obtain a pair of blue tablet fragments. What? Does this make my base bigger? No, it doesn't. Or does it? Oh wait, oh, there's just a dude appeared. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Okay. So I think it's like here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stash some stuff. Actually, I yeah, probably won't hold on to that. Okay, we'll put these back, that, back, that. I don't need. Okay. 
I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon and thought I warranted an investigation. Imagine, imagine my surprise when I discovered bustling village. There's four people here, I wouldn't call that. But who are you and what are you doing in a place like this? I'm building. I beg your pardon, you're building a city? <laughs> Good luck with that. If you expect people to work together and live in harmony, you have another thing coming. Hate to burst your bubble, boy, but there's not a man alive who has the luxury of looking out for anyone but himself. Lies. Speaking of which, I'm tired out after that trek. I'll stay here and rest for a while if you don't mind. The name's Larouch. Sh shan't be saying it long, I don't think, but in any case, please make your acquaintance. What is that name? The names in this game are so weird. Brilliant work showing those blighters who's boss. But it seems the filthy fiends have found our humble settlement. We have no way of knowing when they might strike next. We must devise some means to keep them at bay. By the way, I noticed that you found a pair of curious stone fragments in the aftermath of the battle. I had seen an artifact of similar design in the Cantlin Chronicle, and the man of action that I am, I investigated further. If you were to stick those fragments together again, I believe they would form a device known as a teleportal. Apparently, you can just plunk that thing down on the ground and, hey, presto, it'll whisk you away on a sunbeam to a place where you can find whatever your heart desires. What the heck? For a builder like yourself, putting together a thing like that should be a piece of cake. Well, do you think you could glue that teleportal together again? Teleportal? I don't know how to make a blue teleport. And from another island, I can travel to another island. But anyway, let's build. Okay, an ancient artifact that can convey to far-flung fields. One place can be used to travel to and from another island. I made a blue terror teleport. You've done it. You've made a teleport. Now you can travel to distant, mysterious worlds and back again. In these new and exciting lands, you should find new and exciting materials with which to build new and exciting items. Quickly now, plop that teleportal down on the ground and hop through it to whatever wonderful destination with you. I legit want to know what this thing does. Actually, before you head off, there's something I wish to ask of you. Something on which the good of our city and its continued growth may depend. Once you have that teleportal up and running, I beg you, speak with me before you step through it. Should I though? I think you're gonna request the dragon lord, aka yourself, to to go uh, to where I where I go. A portal to another island opens up. Okay, that's cool. By my athletic physique, that teleportal has activated. That mystical swirling light is positively hypnotic. When a teleportal shines like that, it shows that a path is open to a place where all your dreams can come true. My friend, there is one thing I wish to ask of you before you pass through that glimmering veil. I ask that you find out how to build that most mighty of tools, the giant mallet. The Captain Chronicle describes the giant mallet as a fearsome hammer, strong enough to break huge boulders and fell great trees. Rocks and wood aside, you are bound to find a veritable bounty of new materials wherever this teleportal takes you. And with the new materials come ideas for new items, items we can use to make our city even bigger and better. The monsters known as Hammerhoods carry these giant mallets everywhere they go. I'm sure that they can tell you how to build one. Once you have learnt the recipe, waste no time, build one straight away and show it to me. No time to waste, let's go. Oh, I don't know. Where am I? What in Jeff's name? There's an ancient sheet of paper lying in the bottom of the chest. I unfold the note and begin to read it. The wanderer of the great plains of Catlin, I bestow, bestow this blue navaglobe unto thee. Set it firmly upon the ground, and ever shall its guiding light be reflected upon thy compass. Thou wishest to return to a place of confidence, whether it be a place of safety or opportunity. Simply set this globe before thee and let it guide thy way. To whosoever readeth this missive, may Rubus wash over thee in all thine adventures. Sir Reginald Augustus Grainus, Caitlin Brigadier Arts. Dude, I remember that dude. That was the guy from the note in the pit or whatever. So it was like the main island, like over there. 
Or is this just a different, like, map? Oh, I can climb that, that's cool. Oh yes, white petals. There's so, oh my gosh, there's a lot of grassy leaves here. Medicinal leaf. I don't like medicinal herb. Nice. That's fruit salad. But isn't fruit salad not supposed to have, isn't it just fruit, it's like not lettuce or, or medicinal herbs. Game logic. Okay, there's so many of these. What the heck? It's insane. But. I have 50. Almost. I have 50. I got a silk blossom or More herbs. Nice. Dude, I don't think critical hit that guy. No, no. Night falls. Okay, I need to find like a giant hammer. Clay. Dude, I finally got another block. I want some of this stuff. Yeah, boy. What's that? Oh, is that the, the vine ladder thing? The heck? Ivy. I'm not trying to make a length of cord. Oh, that would be. Oh, wait, yeah, dang, I, don't, I was gonna say if we could use that. Is that a red slime? Do red slimes? I've never seen these before. They shouldn't be much harder than blue slimes. Red. Orange oil. My item bag is full. The magic die. Do 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 do. What is this thing? Oh, that's the hammer boy. Oh my gosh, I don't want to die. I definitely don't want to die in a different place. That would be bad. Different island. No, my armor. I gotta go. I really gotta go. Awesome. So that's when I get to the other places, I'm like, I can't even swim. I mean, there might be some way to swim or 
Oh, come on. That's supposed to be my bed. I don't know. I don't even have a bed. Evil. Well, they have 60 leaves. I'm gonna sleep in the kitchen. I like food. Why is that guy raiding my house? Is he trying to steal stuff? Oh my gosh, get out of my town. I wanna die. Oh heck, I'm dying. This guy has too much HP. Oh yes, he's, he got out of bed, let's go. No, don't know, I wanna steal his bed. shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in my mind. What the? I'm dreaming, bro. Beg pardon? The words of the king hath slipped thy mind, forsooth. What manner of hero art thou to forget such a speech? Permit me to regale thee with his majesty's words once more. Ahem. <laughs> in days of yore, thy revered ancestor did receive. By its power was our world rid of the menace which did beset it. Yet, alas, some few years past, there did arise a new threat, the Dragon Lord. With his cunning, he did steal away the sphere of light from us, plunging the land into darkness once more. Should the state of affairs be suffered to continue, the night must surely take unrelenting hold in our realm perish. So I say unto thee, vanquish the accursed Dragon Lord and reclaim the sphere of light. All of Alephgard with places trust in the hero, fulfill thy destiny and deliver this land from the darkness. I'm assuming that's supposed to be like the uh, thing the king says when he first started Dragon Quest 1. It seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was his own memory or somebody else's, I can't remember. Why? I not have a shirt. Oh, because my armor broke. I need a shirt. I legit need a shirt, bro. I need cord. Wait, I need to make cord. Can't I make cord? I don't have enough of it. I don't want to make more broken racks, but I have to. I'm not going without a shirt. That's just dumb. wondrous tool capable of more than filling trees and smashing rocks. The Catlin Chronicle claims that it can even loosen metals and minerals from the earth itself. Oh, that's good. Travel through the teleport and seek out some clue to building one of these giant mallets. Once you have discovered the secret of its construction, build one as soon as you can and let me see it. Okay, I gotta go back. Zone. I don't know. I don't think it has a name. I love climbing. What the heck? He's talking. I'm going to come find you, bro. I need the ivy. 
I need that. I need to build. I gotta build. What is in here? Seed of life. Smash, 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 you work. You can go anywhere you want with a talent like that. Oh, so I gotta talk to this dude. I'm gonna hammer. From now on, you and me are climbing buddies. What? I know that climbing is fun, but it's pretty dangerous too. Take care and don't fall down. And bump your head, alright? Hello, buddy. How are you? I haven't taken a crack at climbing any good cliffs yet. You know what? You humans are as bad as everyone makes out. I've heard that humans used to be really nasty, but it seems you've calmed down a bit since then. All the ones I've met have been absolutely adorable. Not that I'm saying I adore you or anything, but, but I still like you. After all, we're climbing buddies. Who is this guy? So, I need... I need food. I don't have any. I need food. I'm gonna die if I don't get food. I need more IV. I don't know how I'm supposed to find the right guy. I guess me and this dude are climbing buddies. But we're literally a different species. And I don't know how to... I mean, I am pretty gamer at climbing, not my life. Oh, I have to go in this house. Probably. It's probably gonna be one of the hammer boys in here. Dude. Kinda wanna see. There we go. There's someone in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What in the heck? What was that? I just wrecked this whole place. Gotta build these. I'm gonna rebuild this. No reply, it's just a corpse. It doesn't even look like a corpse, it looks like bones. It used to be someone's home. Okay, that's kind of disturbing. My controllers are starting to lag, I think. I think they're low on battery or something. I need food. I'm just gonna use one of these. What the heck? Just fly that? I was gonna say that it sounds like it's gonna hurt, but then I uh, lied it. Which sleeping made you not hungry? Then again, that would kind of ruin the entire point of the food meter, but... Do we need food in here? Three fried eggs. Are those any good? 20%. I guess I should use the snap cord. I wonder how it works. 
works. Oh, oh, and then the compass takes me back to this other one. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, though. Because there's that house over there. There's a torch, girl. There's another hut right here. Uh, oh, there we go. This dude. I think that this is the right dude. Strike me down! So, so we got Spider-Man before, now we're getting Emperor Palpatine. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, let's go. It's a human. What do you think you're doing barging in here like you own the place? You got a lot of nerve, you know. Well, no harm done, I suppose. To be honest, I really don't really have anything against humans. So what do you want? What? You want to take a look at my tool? But, but, but well, we've only just met. Oh, you're talking about this hammer. Uh, was that, was that supposed to be like inappropriate? That's, that's kind of bad. If you want to know how to make a giant mallet, Clawberina is the hammer hood to ask. She shouldn't be hard to find this bonfire on the roof of her house, so just look for that. Okay, I saw it. Here, take this. Consider it a sign of new found friendship. I'm taking a signpost. Dude, I've got a sign. I wonder if I can like write on it. I'm assuming I can, but you never know. Dude, the orange slumps. My input lag is kind of bad. A Jaffa Daisy. Hammer Hood Heights. Oh, that is a big hammer. Bless my soul if it isn't a little human. I'm clubbering with the head hammer. I suppose you might call me the hammerhead. Oh my gosh. What might a poor that word human want with me? I have no idea how to say that. Mercy me. Um, so I think that's a pretty good band. Is that, is that a band? I don't know. Or a group. Or artist. You want to know how we make our giant mallets? I'm sorry, my dear. I know it must be hard being a human, but you won't turn into a hammer that easy. I don't want to be a hammer. Besides, these hammers are our most precious treasure. The recipe is a closely guarded secret. It wouldn't be your right to tell everyone how to make them. Come now, don't be like that. Perhaps there's some way we could... Oh, I know, my roof has got three great big holes in it. The wind comes right through it and plays havoc with my old bones. Don't get me started on my brain, I get soaked to the skin, I'll catch my death one of these days, you know? A few blocks of straw floor will plug those holes right up, I do it myself, but I'm not as young as I once was. How about it, you think you can fix my roof? You can use the ivy around here to make cord, you need to bundle the straw into blocks, once you build some straw floor blocks, just pop them in the holes. If you need to fix up my roof for me, I'd be ever so grateful, I might even show you how to make a giant mallet just like mine. Okay, so I gotta go and find a workbench. Oh, there's a hidden chest. Oh, there's one up there. I already stored all my. Wait, no. Even if I store my ivy, I can still craft with it, right? Oh, uh, I need a cord, I know that. Draw for Okay. I have so many grassy leaves. And I can make straw flooring cake. That's class. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Just change blocks like that. I don't know why I have to use straw for it. it looks way worse than just using all dirt. I wore it, you fixed my roof. And what a wonderful job you've done too. I didn't think you had it in you. Hold on a minute. A human with the power to build things out of nothing? Don't tell me you're the legendary builder. Okay. Why is like my, my title the builder? Oh my, would you listen to me getting all excited? Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. It's not a secret. Humans were once so powerful, but now there's hardly anything left of you. Meanwhile, us monsters grow stronger by the day. Truth be told, I can't say I'm happy with this arrangement. I think this world could do with a bit of balance. 
I know that's not to say I want to see the whole world crawl in a few minutes, but it'd be a real shame if you all died out. Alright, I'll help you, but this is just between you and me. We wouldn't want the dragon lord finding out now, would we? First things first, let me show you how to build a giant mallet. I learned how to make a giant mallet. This is going to be the most like basic. It's going to be like a branch and another branch. That's going to be it. Uh, I was so close. A branch, a branch, and another branch. <laughs> Top secret recipe. Wait, I don't want. What? I don't want to build another one. I mean, don't mind if I do. Ah! Okay. Let's go give this to that dude. Okay. Go back to base. Let's give it to this dude. You've done it! You've built a giant mallet! With a hammer like that, you could smash up all sorts of things you couldn't smash up before. Why, well, just look around here, there are trees and rocks. Through the blue teleporter, there's said to be copper and coal in abundance. Yeah, I saw that. Once a clever lad like you gets his hands on materials like that, there's no end to what you might invent. And just think, when you build your new inventions, you might be able to dream up recipes for even more exciting items. Go on, head out into the world and swing that mallet around like there's no tomorrow. Smash up everything you see and pick up all the materials you haven't been able to collect so far. If you work out how to build new things, waste no time. Build them straight away. To begin with, why don't you try chopping down one of these nearby trees? Completed the quest, got two chimera wings. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. Thank you for watching the second episode of Dragon Quest Builders. And... Yeah, next time we're gonna go, uh, what do you say, smash things like there's no tomorrow. Okay, well, bye.